hello soldiers welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to solve alma betters assignment one and the topic is integers floats and booleans from module one that is python for data science here we are going to solve problem one in a cricket tournament based on the outcome of a particular match a team gets following points if a team wins they get three points if the team got draw they get one point if a team loses the match they get zero points so team aravali plays eight matches in this tournament it wins four matches it loses three matches and and it gets draws one what is the total number of points gained by the team aravali so we are going to calculate total points gained by the team aravali this is a problem statement here the out outcome variables are defined so wins equals to 4 loses equal to 3 draws equal to 1 so here we need to calculate the total points gained by the team aravali so i'm using this variables wins multiply with they get 3 points if they win so then I'm adding loses if they lose they get zero points right so I'm multiplying with zero and then if they get draw they get one point so I'm just calculating it then I'm printing this value you can use print statement to print but in cells you no need to type print so you got the output now we are moving to problem 2 root of function f of x is defined as a value x where f of x equal to 0 if we get f of x equal to 0 that's a root of f of x so that means uh, when we use x value if we get f of x equal to 0 that's a root of f of x here is a quadratic equation f of x equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 find the value of function f of x at point x equals to 2 x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1 so first we are going to calculate the value of the function f of x at x equals to 2 so first i'm assigning x equals to 2 here what I'm doing I'm just typing this quadratic equation x for square we need to use double asterisk so plus 3 and uh, for multiplication also we need to use a string elastic x minus Four. that's right I'm just running this now we need to print this thing in this down code box so we got output 6 here what I'm doing I'm just copying this quadratic equation here we are using x equals to minus 1 and I'm just running this thing then I'm printing this here so you can see the output minus 6 here we got 6 here we got minus 6 and we are calculating at 1 so what I'm doing I'm just declaring x equals to 1 then I'm printing this so you can see the output at x we got 0 so f of x at x equals to 0 is a root of a function f of x so that we need to prove here so at x equals to 2 we are checking is this a root of f of x no it's false now we are going to check at f of x equals to 
where x equals to minus 1 and equals to equals to 0 let's see we got false now we are checking at f of x at x equals to 1 equals to equals to 0 and that's true at x equals to 1 we are getting root of f of x here now we are moving to problem number 3 a bag contains 45 apples 60 oranges 30 bananas find the percentage of each type of food item in the bag so calculate the percentage of apples and print the variable so to calculate the percentage what we need first I'm declaring the variables here here apples equals to 45 apples are there in the bag and oranges equals to 65 oranges are there in the bags in the bag and bananas equals to 30 bananas are there in the bag so I'm calculating the sum of 3 sum of items equals to apples plus oranges plus bananas so I'm just running this thing now calculate the percentage of apples and print the value so just take the variable apple divide by sum of items into 100 so you can see the output 32.14 percentage now we are calculating for oranges by sum of items multiply with 100 so you can see the output 46.42 percent now we are calculating for bananas by sum of items multiply with 100 so you can see the output 21.42 percent and now we are moving to problem number four you were playing a fun guessing game during your school break there were a total of 100 participants excluding you out of these 100 people 30 were math majors 45 were economics majors and 25 were physics majors the game was divided into three rounds in the first round you had to guess the number of math majors and you correctly guessed 20 of them in the second round you had to guess the number of economics majors and you correctly guessed 30 of them in the final third round you had to guess number of physics majors and you correctly guessed 20 of them accuracy is defined as number of correct guesses upon total number of guesses in the group so I'm just uh, we need to store the number of max majors just type uh, I'm giving variable max majors equals to um, so you can see there were 30 max majors I'm giving 30 here then economics majors economics majors equals to there were 45 of them now physics majors equals to there were 25 of them store the number of your correct guesses so I guessed max majors correct equals to I guessed around 20 of them 
yeah <coughs> and uh, now i am storing number of your correct guesses for economics majors so economics majors correct guess equals to 30 of them next store the number of your correct guesses of physics majors okay physics majors correct guesses equals to i guessed uh, 20 of them that's right uh, now we need to calculate your accuracy in each of three rounds in first round so accuracy is defined as a number of correct guesses upon total number of total number of people in the group so in the first round i guessed 20 maths majors right and they were 30 of them so 20 maths majors so max majors correct guess by Max majors multiply with 100 so you can see the output 66.6 percent accuracy now we are calculating economics majors correct guesses accuracy by economics majors into hundred so you can see the output this one is also 66.66 percent now we are getting the accuracy for physics physics majors correct guess by physics majors into 100 so you can see the output 80 percent correct guesses because i guessed 20 and the there were 25 of them right that's why i got 80 percent accuracy calculate your overall accuracy in the entire game so in the entire game so what i have to do i just need to add them so what i do max majors correct guess plus economics majors correct guess plus physics majors correct guess by max majors plus economics majors plus physics majors into 100 so I'm using bracket so that it won't get any errors or wrong answers so I'm just running this 70% overall accuracy that's it for now meet you next assignment or next tutorial so bye bye goodbye